candy canes for me. First, I put up my new candy cane decoration in the clubhouse. Doesn't that look cool? Then, I made candy cane Christmas cookies to give to some of my friends in the neighborhood. They're gonna be so happy. Do you like Christmas surprises? Me too! I just have to finish putting these cookies in this last box and then I'll be ready to share them. I can't wait to see Uncle Bob's face when he sees the cookies. Why, thank you, Manny. And I bet my friend Annika will be so happy. Candy canes are my favorite! And my neighbor, Mr. Gonzalez, will be so surprised. Mr. Gonzalez doesn't say much, but he loves cookies. I can't wait to share these with everyone. Who? Who? Hey, it's Ollie! Hello, Manny. Who? Who? Planning Christmas surprises, are you? Hi, Ollie. I sure am. I was just finishing up putting my candy cane cookies in these boxes to share with my neighbors. Sharing at Christmas is a great thing to do. I have a story about others who share, too. Just listen to this story. Just follow me through. Who? 
Ready? Ta-da! <laughs> They're sheep with candy canes on the wrappers. These remind me of today's part of the true story of Christmas. If you're ready on the count of three, yell, tell me a story. One, two, three. Tell me a story. <gasps> oh, look. See, there's the sheep in the field being watched by their shepherds. What sound do sheep make? Ba, ba. Very good sheep. Okay, you can stop now because I've got something special to tell you. These guys don't know it yet, but on this very night not too far away, Jesus, God's son, was born. Let's do an excited whisper dance. Ready? Yay! <laughs> Well, God is about to make a big announcement right out here in this field, and these guys are going to be so surprised. Watch this. <gasps> An angel appeared in the sky. The shepherds were so surprised, and the angel said, a special baby has been born. He's God's son. Go find him in the manger. Suddenly, the whole sky filled with angels. They were praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest. Let's pretend we're angels too. Hold out your pretend angel wings and let's say, glory to God in the highest. Ready? Glory to God in the highest. Great, again, now louder. Glory to God in the highest. <laughs> Great job. Okay, everyone put their angel wings down. Everyone was excited about Jesus being born because Jesus is God's son. <laughs> when the angels left the shepherds, they had to remember what the angels told them to do. Do you guys remember? Where did the angels tell the shepherds to go? <gasps> to see baby Jesus in the manger. <laughs> and once they saw him, they knew they needed to go tell everyone that Jesus, God's son, was born. Everyone who heard the good news that Jesus had been born was amazed. They knew Jesus is special because Jesus is God's son. Did you like the story? If you did, give it two thumbs up. Two thumbs up. <gasps> hey there, Ollie. Tell me, why is Jesus special? Jesus is God's son. Yes, it's true. Now let's hear it from you. Tell me. Why is Jesus special? Jesus is God's son. That's the truth, friends. You better believe it. Merry Christmas, everyone. Bye. So there's your story. It's all true. The angels and shepherds told others about Jesus, and we can too. Thanks, Ollie. Goodbye to you. Who? Who? Wow, I love that story. The shepherds were so excited to tell everybody that Jesus was born. They knew it was a big deal and wanted everyone to know about Jesus. I think I got the story. Did you get it? If you did say got it, get it? Got it! Good! You know what? This looks just like the shepherd's hook in the story. I'm gonna make even more candy cane cookies to share with my neighbors. And I'm gonna tell them all about Jesus, just like the shepherds did when I delivered the cookies. I'll see you guys next time. Bye! God loved the world so much that he gave his only son, John 3.16. God loved the world so much that he gave his only son, 
John 3.16.